An eyesore and a potential danger no more. Neighbors celebrate as a building is brought down. And it tops our news at 530. Used to be a pizza place. Uh, then it became an eyesore and a real nuisance to a neighborhood on Detroit's east side. But today it's finally been demolished. Local 4's Coco McAvoy joins us live after speaking with residents and city officials. So Coco, what are residents saying about this? Karen and Devin, residents and business owners in that area along Van Dyke have been complaining about this pizza place for the last three years. So they're saying it's about time that building comes down. Because I had to look at it every day. <laughs> it, 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 well, I come home every day, I leave, I have to look at this place. So you can imagine how happy Ronald Jacobs is to see Papa's Pizza demolished. Jacobs says the building has been an eyesore since a fire three years ago. And from that point on, it was uh, just all downhill. He says the smell of rotting meat filled the air and the pizza place became a dumping site. It looked bad enough like it, you know, like it already was, but to bring extra garbage in and start dumping it here, it just got worse and worse. Yarno Cobbs' Cloud 9 Barbershop is along Van Dyke, so he's also glad to see Papa's go. That building been there for years, Raggedy. Though he misses the pizza. But I would love for the pizza place to come back, Papa. <laughs> Aaron Harris with the mayor's office says Papa's was a priority because of the location. The mayor recognizes that on thoroughfares, especially in this business area, we want to try and get um, as many structures down as possible. Jacobs hopes to see more buildings come down too, but one thing's for sure. So this is truly a blessing to see this place finally come down. And city officials say City Councilman Scott Benson, along with the mayor's office, have been working to bring down 2,000 buildings in District 3, and they hope to bring more buildings down in the coming months. Reporting live this afternoon, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4.